Red Dead Redemption was one of my favourite games, probably in my opinion the best game I've ever played. It wasn't simply a case of being GTA in the West, they really embraced the Western concept and created a fulfilling story with memorable characters and great gameplay. If I was just a game fan, I would have loved it, but as someone who loves Western movies, it's like the game was made as a personal love letter to me. They got so much right, so many little details that elevate the game. One of the things I've always loved about the game was that, unlike say in GTA 5 where you can easily become bored and think there's not much to do when exploring San Andreas, every nook and cranny in Red Dead felt alive and kicking. You could be out in the wilderness in the middle of the night in the middle of nowhere and somehow it was never boring because it felt so alive. Rockstar really captured the spirit of the West. The game had a soul and one of the few reasons I was willing to buy a next generation console was if they made a sequel to Red Dead, which eventually they did. Red Dead Redemption 2, so far, I'm in chapter 3 by the way, is a vast improvement over the original, as crazy as it sounds. It's difficult to even know where to begin. The graphics for one are incredible. In terms of story, it takes place before the first game. For those who have played Red Dead, you'll know you play as John Marston, forced by the government to track down former gang mates in order to free his family, including the former gang leader Dutch. In this one, you take part in adventures as part of that very gang as Arthur Morgan, with Dutch being the leader of the gang and John being one of the many members. I already prefer playing as Arthur to John, as much as I like John. Arthur's dry humour is great fun, and it's nice to play someone big and imposing when a lot of the times in video games your foes are always a lot bigger than you. Even three chapters in, the characterization of all the many people in Red Dead 2 is outstanding. The story is great and very immersive. It starts slow and isn't afraid to take its time, in spirit of western movies in general, in the snowy mountains which will make spaghetti western fans think of the great silence. Then once you get a hang of the controls it throws a lot in your face and tells you, there you go, go and explore the west. You make mistakes and learn from them as you go, as I did when a simple highway robbery attempt eventually ended up as a $300 bounty that took me ages to pay off.
There's so many activities to do, but one of the things I absolutely love is that you can talk to everyone in the game. All the NPCs, if I'm not mistaken. You can choose to greet them, antagonize them, make an attempt at a robbery, etc, etc. When the first game really had you just simply tipping your hat at people and a quick high buy, in this one the conversations you can have have a genuine flow to them. It's really clever, and because it's so intricate and sometimes it can lead to side missions or quests, and it's dependent on your status in the world or whether you're a wanted bandit or whatever, it's one of the many elements that makes Red Dead feel like a fully breathing world. In addition, the gameplay is slicker, the showdowns are improved, there's a lot more animals to hunt, the map is huge but hidden unless you yourself have been in land, encouraging you to explore. There's just heaps and heaps of improvements upon an already amazing game. Just riding your horse, doing minor activities like hunting elk, fishing, skinning, it just feels so satisfying. The sound of your gun firing is also so fulfilling and the ability to shoot individual parts of people's bodies, which does specific damage, is excellent. I noticed I found combat a lot harder in this one. You can't really go in all guns blazing, as I proved to myself in losing all but one battle with bounty hunters that were on my tail. You have to use cover, you have to think about the environment and how it can help you, even how well you've maintained your pistol. There's a lot of new stuff added in the game that sounds dire, like you and your horse needing sustenance. The fact that you can get tired, having to wear clothes that match the weather or else become fatigued, having to clean your gun if it becomes dirty, but all of these things become part of the gameplay. Several times, for example, I've left the weapon I wanted to use on my horse and being only armed with a revolver, having to go around my enemy to get to my horse saddle and supplies. Things like this add dynamics to the action. It makes each individual fight memorable, unique and forces you to think. And not to mention Western fans will spot numerous homages to famous and obscure films in the genre. I am really enjoying my time with this game. It's everything I hoped for in a Red Dead sequel plus more. Look up on the left, this one on the left. Come on, let's finish this corner. 